I'm gonna move some cars around. What is up guys, welcome back. As you can see, we are moving cars around. That car is actually gonna be in here for a little while where you're still waiting on the transmission for it. And so I figured it'd be nice to kind of tuck it away over there and leave some space over here so we can work on this. We have not worked on this in a little while and it needs some maintenance, it needs some cleanup, it needs an oil change. And I plan on doing some things to the interior. I don't know if you guys remember in some last videos, but I wanted to make the interior a little bit nicer. I did have this as a drift car, but because we are gonna be doing the supercharger and we're gonna make it more like streetable, I think it's time to, you know, kind of spend some time on the interior before we get uh, the car painted and everything taken care of. But first things first, we need to mask off because if you guys know me, the Dexter theme is staying, but we're gonna, we're gonna kind of clean it up and make it pop even more. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bagging this up and getting the inside stuff prepped and ready. And uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so I got some paper and some bags and stuff, some blue tape. I think I'm gonna mark this off. I think I'm just gonna mark off literally right around the weld. We'll go over the plates. That doesn't really need to be splattered anymore. And then we're gonna do the rest of the cage. I think it's gonna be really easy, I think. And then we're gonna have to mark off the windows. And we're gonna do just this back half. So let's get started on that. So now all the main bars are actually covered and I'm sure you guys are wondering why I didn't do the rest of this but the reason why is because I'm gonna actually be spraying off to the side and I'll just cover the little sides on the bar as I go. I don't really need to cover this whole thing because I'm just gonna be doing the bottom and then the sides, the trim and all of that. So we are going to head to the store. We need to get some of the undercoating stuff for this. Um, the mailman just dropped off this package. This package is the harness for this car. Uh, the homie needs to bring the car to get smog. So I do need to replace that. Um, and also one of my neighbors brought uh, her, I think it's her boyfriend or her friend's car, her friend's car. Um, and the pump needs done on the inverter for that. So I need to swap that out as well. Um, just to kind of show you, this is just kind of like what goes on in a typical day here. And also on top of it, I'm not gonna have like one specific project for today. It's kind of just be a smorgasbord of little like things going on. So we're gonna run to the store. We're gonna grab the stuff for this. I do need to like clean this engine up to this is another project i know that you guys have probably seen all these parts in the back that i've been cleaning up um i have parts coming for this the homie is putting an ls in his 350z i ordered like a cam kit a whole bunch of stuff for this so i'm excited that coming up soon i'm going to be able to start making videos taking this apart and kind of show you his progress and his car um, i need to get his car here but we're going to prep the engine first get everything together like he's getting the trunnion upgrade the cam um yeah it's gonna be sick i'm super excited about it but 
first things first, let's head to the store. We're gonna go grab that paint for this car and then we might come back and I think we're gonna start on this car. Uh, yeah, like I said, kind of just a, you know, smorgasbord of like mashed up car fixing today. So let's get out of here. All right, close that up. Everything here is good. Front door is locked. Ugh, look at this. If you guys didn't see the last video on the Raptor, I got my new wheels on it. Look at that aggressive stance. Look at how good this damn thing looks. And I cleaned it, so it looks even better now. But, all right, enough admiring. Let's go. Pulling into old tried and trusty in here, O'Reilly. Oops, sorry. Go in here, grab this paint. It's easier than trying to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. All right, we're gonna grab this and then go and grab food and head home. All right, I got degreaser and I got some of the premium undercoating. And before anybody says anything about the undercoating being heavy and stuff to add weight to the car, it's LS swapped and it's getting a supercharger. So I really don't care about the weight. I would actually prefer it to be quieted down a little bit on the inside. So I'm hoping this does that. Um, it says sound dampening right there. And I think it's gonna give it kind of a wrinkle texture that will look a little bit nicer than just painting over some of the um, dead stuff on the bottom of the trunk area. So we're gonna do that when we get home, but let's go get something to eat because I'm starving. It's 1.22, I haven't eaten anything. And uh, yeah, I don't know, what sounds good? All right, figure we come across the street because I don't feel like driving all around town to figure out something to eat. And if you know me, I could survive literally off of sandwiches and coffee. So we're gonna come over here to Grubway and grab something to eat and then head home. All right, grab the food, headed home. I wanted to show you guys the tires on here are so quiet. They're radar tires. They're not like the top of the line brand, but they're definitely knobby and definitely uh, would do great off-road as well as like driving daily. But look, I'm gonna shut up for a minute and I'll show you. You can hear that this the tires are super quiet driving. It's like not even having all-terrain tires on here. show you because I'm sure some people are questioning because of how like aggressive they are if they're loud noisy road noise they're really not so I definitely recommend these tires if anybody's looking to get some like pretty budget friendly uh, off-road tires for their new wheels Now that this is all done, we can get back to work. However, I do wanna show you guys because you know that when I'm not working on the car, I'm still working. I gotta show you kind of what we're doing with the new nursery as well. Figured I would give you guys a little in-depth look into kind of the stuff that goes on around the house when I'm not working on cars or I'm not with Mike or I'm not at the racetrack. But you can see, sorry about the mess, but we've been designing the nursery for the baby boy. This is kind of where we're at. So this wall, this wall used to be black. These used to be this lime green, disgusting color. But we decided to put up some of these boards, kind of make it a little classier. He's got his dresser. We painted the top of the dresser the same as the wall, but now we got to get the crib, all the other stuff in it. But just wanted to kind of show you guys a little in-depth look, something different other than car stuff. Pretty proud of this because it came out super nice. The girls at Lowe's right now are actually picking out stuff for some shelves that we're going to put right here. But yeah, so that's the nursery. Now let's head back down to the car stuff. Got to come back over here, grab the stuff that we just got. My light, oh no reflection look like that light was on grab this stuff all right we're gonna give this a go break that tab off there it go 
windows. All right, I want to give you guys one more look at this disgusting interior. I mean, it's a stripped car. It's not really that it's disgusting. It's just it needs to look better. And now we're going to try this stuff out. See how this goes on. so good in here. Gotta go over this stuff just so everything matches, so it's all uniform. Uh-oh, I might actually need two of these. We're gonna see how far we get, but it's going on thicker and running out faster than I thought. All right, I think I underestimated quite a bit on how much it's gonna take to do the interior of the car. But you can see just how it's starting to look. I really like it. Some of these like imperfection stuff, I'm really not worried about. I am still gonna put stuff in here, but rather than it looking rusted, white, filthy, it's gonna be nice and black and you know stay that way. I think I might actually tint this just a little bit, just so that way it kind of keeps the cage a little bit more inconspicuous, but when you look at it, you can still see the white and the blood splatter pop. And uh, yeah, it'll just make the interior look that much darker, that much nicer. I really like how it's coming out though. But I feel like I need to get probably at least two more cans one can kind of did this. If I'm gonna do some touch up, yeah, at least two more cans. All right, so a little bit of time has passed. I just knocked out that pump real quick. Not a big deal, nothing really to like write home to mom about. So that's why I decided not to put it on video. But I do want to pull this out now and check and see, make sure this harness is correct. There's been a couple times lately ordering from eBay online that these people don't know what they're talking about as far as what harness is for what car. Um, one of the major things that can tell you what harness is what first is looking at the O2 sensor plugs and that will be a dead giveaway on what year it is. This has to be an O4. And they even left the coil packs attached still. Trying to find one of the O2 sensors as long as it's not a green connector for. And this is pretty annoying. Okay, there we go. The plug should be attached to here. All right, here we go. So we know the six pin like this is for O4 and up. So this should be good. And people really don't take their time with this stuff. Connectors look okay. I'm not gonna need the coil packs, but thank you for them anyway. Is this broken? Of course it is. It's always broken on both sides. That's for the cam sensor. But at least I know this one will work. The one that's in this car, it was supercharged before, and so it's got like a cut up harness. It's like cut spliced for the brain unit that you works with the uh, Vortec. And so, I don't know, it's giving me wiring issues. I don't have um, an immobilizer issue. The light goes off. I have power through the fuel pump, relay, and fuse, and I'm getting fuel pressure to the fuel rail, but for some reason, I'm just smelling gas. It's not firing, so I don't even want to mess with the wiring stuff in there that I don't know about. Figure we can put a factory one in it, get the car running. He can take it to smog, and then we can assess the stuff for the supercharger later. So this is going to be the next thing I'm going to do. However, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this today. I do have to pick up my daughter. Yeah, I might have to. What time is it? 2.45, so I think, I don't know if I'm even gonna video this. You guys have seen me pull out a harness and put one in, but that's gonna be the next project that I take care of. I think we're gonna start a new video tomorrow and we will go from there. So I think right now I'm gonna call it because I do need to go in. I need to do a couple more things um, with the nursery stuff and then I'm gonna go get my daughter. So um, yeah, I think that's gonna call it for today. I hope you guys have been well. I hope your family's been well and I will see you in the next video. Much love, peace.